as you can see the diaphragm blades are quite thin so they are most probably made of plastic and due to dropping the camera into salt water and letting it dry for almost one year they are all stick to each other I'm trying to move the blades by turning this little gear. The gear is connected to the little shutter uh, electric motor with the yellow metal gear. And there is also a switch, as you can see, which most probably triggers the uh, diaphragm blades so the blades of the shutter is also all uh, stuck due to salt water I'm going to somehow first separate them lightly and then clean it with circuit cleaner and I have to be very careful here not to damage anything. The tool I am using is a dentist uh, kind of a tool. Let's see what can I do. So there were two little screws on both sides of the little electric motor. I unscrewed them and see that so it is all rusted. There is a remarkable amount of rust there. So the motor is um, connected to the camera's processor with a strip cable. I need to also be very delicate here. Yeah, you see the little gear and the metal base of the motor. Yeah. It's a quite tiny motor and I think it's a step motor because it doesn't have two poles, instead it has four poles and I will try to trigger it if it still functions. Yeah, let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, the rust is quite obvious but seems to be that fortunately it didn't uh, somehow damage any of the threads the gear is intact and i can easily rotate it okay let's see if it's also functions but I have to first uh, clean the blades and let them free so they should be able to free freely move back and forth then the motor should be also able to move them
Yes, as you can see, I can now lightly turn the gears. One of the blade is already released, so at the upper left side, as you can see, it moves into the center of the iris. The others will be soon released because I cleaned. I'm going to now uh, flush it with circuit cleaner. Yes, nicely. This circuit cleaner doesn't leave any oil um, on the surfaces, so it completely evaporates. So that later on I don't need to once again disassemble and uh, wash the blades. So I can clean them on place. Yeah, gently and gently, slowly and slowly, with a lot of patience, I will be releasing those blades free. And finally, all the single diaphragm blades are released. They can easily move and make the iris smaller. You see the residuals left from the salt water. So salt water is absolutely damaging every part of the camera I will try to rinse them off but it's really really very sensitive area I need to be quite um, I need to move, move everything very deliberately so that I don't damage anything because in case of a damage to any of those blades, there is no return. So I need to completely buy a new uh, lens for the camera, which is around around hundred dollar. So uh, that's a part of my complete repair video. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and open the notifications and also please also watch the rest of the uh, camera repair it's a nikon p610 it's a decent camera thanks for watching